Heidi ho! What's up, everybody? It's Charlie. If you heard it here first in my beer for tonight, remember they're both on Twitter. And I'm here with just a quick, 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 quick video. Now, bag right there. Don't, don't worry about that. So, um, yeah, all good, never better. That's how I feel right now. Everything is all good, and I've never felt better than how I'm feeling right now. So, uh, I'm not going to take up much of your time, but... It is the season of Girl Scout cookies. Um, you will see the young ladies handing out cookies or trying to sell cookies in front of the convenience store, uh, the grocery store, the gas station, at school functions, in front of the medical marijuana dispensary. They're gonna be all over the place. And you, 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 and I'm talking to you, should support them. But not only because they're Girl Scouts and they're trying to better the future and be a part of a winning team, it's because all you folks are in the craft beer community and this cookie and beer pairing is supposed to be spectacular. Now, it's something I've never done before. I've always wanted to do it, but just hadn't got around to do it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I know this year Thorn Street Brewery in San Diego, they're gonna do a Girl Scout and craft beer pairing. However, I think it was maybe a couple years ago, one more large popular craft brewery in San Diego would do this. But not only in San Diego. I'm sure this is all over the place. So, since I'm under doctor's orders to stay away from alcohol for 90 days, which I extended it to 100 days, so I'm not going to be drinking brew for a very long time. And also, stay away from excessive sweets for 45 days. I figured, um, let's have some fun with this. Let's let's have some fun um, and let others enjoy what I would hope and wanted to enjoy starting this Girl Scout cookie season. Let them enjoy for me. So, with that being said, each week for the next several weeks, I am going to post a video. Um, there's going to be some information in a video that's going to be extremely helpful for anyone that wants to join. And um, I'm going to select a cookie of the week or at that time and send them a beer I think would pair well. So I was able to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The eight cookies Girl Scouts are offering to individuals here in Southern California. I've been told that it's different by state and it's also different by county. So, um, here we go. The first Girl Scout cookies we got, you know, focus on there. There we go. The lemonades, baby. The lemonades. And I think with this savory shortbread cookie with a tangy lemon flavored icing the best best beer you could have and this is a beer i've had it's gonna be this luminous joint right here by great notion listen if you haven't gotten your hands on this which you probably won't be able to because i'm sure that this beer is gone unless you got the hookup but this is a five and a half percent sour hazy IPA and this joint is delicious so if I had to pair this beer with any cookies here or this cookie with any beer here I'm going with the luminous so someone might be in a position to go ahead taste this beer enjoy it with these cookies so that's 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 that one right there all right next we got we got the shortbread joints you know what i'm saying everybody know about a nice little fun shortbread cookie if i had to drink a beer with this traditional shortbread cookie i'm gonna go with three magnets imperial sweet stout all right they're calling it orange treat right so this is a stout, but it's gonna give you that orange flavor. You know what I'm saying? Now, I haven't had this. So um, maybe it's not gonna give an orange flavor. I don't know. But hopefully someone, anyone who joins in will be able to pair 
shortbread cookie with this imperial sweet stout you know what i'm saying orange treat three magnets they're doing some awesome shit up there in what's that olympia washington if i'm not mistaken tacoma area is there olympia washington right yeah hold on now i can look they're olympia washington um so yeah we got that now next we're gonna go with uh, the peanut butter patties right crispy vanilla cookie layered with peanut butter and covered with a chocolatey coating booyah 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 listen then brewing stump thumping coffee brown ale y'all know how i feel about brown ales i've had this this is very tasty and i think this pairing here is going to be freaking awesome obviously i won't know because i won't have the opportunity okay moving on we're gonna go with the peanut butter sandwich crunchy oatmeal cookie with creamy peanut butter filling listen here peanut butter and cookies is totally awesome however you go with trapdoor brewing super treat which is a neapolitan style milk stout with strawberries all right strawberries yes vanilla beans and cacao nibs i've had this with neapolitan ice cream bomb.com like this beer is fucking rad and you know what peanut butter sandwiches here with this beer it's gonna be awesome i'm gonna have to have someone try it and then you know we got famous thin mint joints everybody loves themselves with thin mint from here um or there or at any time this is a great cookie just to pop in your mouth pause and enjoy it so i would roll with the um new zealand we got the ice stout the affogato imperial stout brewed with lactose coffee and vanilla now this was supposed to be featured in one of my episodes of stout sunday but didn't get around to do it because of whatever reason but has to be an awesome parent here i know it's gonna be an awesome parent for someone all right thanks a lot all right shortbread cookie dipped in rich fudge and topped with an emboss thank you message in one of five languages all right this is the very first time that i have seen this inside or packaged with girl scout cookies and um i i myself i would go with the fruit fight this is a plum and cranberry sour ale brewed by come on now y'all know my third favorite brewery in the world barely brewing shout out to barely brewing they released an awesome beer called the big pulp um if i'm not mistaken a play on words with 7-eleven wish i was in a pdx wish i was drinking so i can pick that up right but i missed out so someone boom this is gonna be it right here all right and then we got level beer there in the pdx they're doing some awesome things too i've drank a number of their beers um and right here that i feel will go great with the s'mores s'mores it's gonna be levels Barrel Age Imperial Stout, 11.5%. Look at the can art on that joint right there. Oh, yeah. Pick this up at John's Market. John's Market, they always have some great beers available for folks who are in and out of the city, in and out of the state, or just the local folks. And last but not least, my favorite of them all, of the Girl Scout cookies. I mean, they didn't change names more than a woman who's been married five times last names that is but the official caramel delights a vanilla cookie topped with caramel sprinkled with toasted coconut and laced with chocolatey stripes tell me this isn't the best girl scout cookie of them all and you can only and you can only and when i say you can only enjoy this cookie if you have that brown ale brewed by the great folks over at Grixon. God damn, look at that. Look at that in the crawler. About three weeks old since my last visit, but you know what? It's damn worth it. So, pay attention to the videos um, um, and, and, and get ready to embark on an awesome, an awesome, an awesome beer girl scout cookie tasting um yeah so um until then charlie if you heard it here first in my beer for tonight remember they're both on twitter all good never better 
I'm out. Peace.